Brides to be are now scrambling to find new venues with just weeks to go before their big day. Yeah, McMenemies is up for sale. We told you about that yesterday. That the venue is now being taking no bookings. 27 First News reporting that Dean Grimley spoke with brides and went back to McMenemies trying to get more answers. Well, Dave and Mandy, trying to put yourself in these brides' shoes. They've been planning their wedding for months. Set a date, put a deposit on a venue, pick the flowers, DJ, and even the menu. All to find out just weeks before the building they booked is for sale, and they didn't even get a phone call. I was kind of mad. I mean, because we just we had this all booked ahead. Elizabeth Starcher and her fiance James Shealy are getting married in just six weeks. Their reception was supposed to be here at McMenemies. In fact, the invitations have already been sent. But after hearing on our newscast the building and property were for sale, they're now scrambling to find a new place. He told us they weren't going to close, and they are now. So to just flat out lie to our faces that, you know, we're not going to do what Antones did. You know, we're here for our customers and we're not going to close. That's very. Um, disappointing. Back at McMenemies today, the marquee was off. Doors locked and nobody there, but no signs indicating they were closed. We tried reaching out to Robert Leonard, who controls the business, but so far, no response. Now, even I tried calling the number for McMenemies, and I'm going to do it right now so you can hear. This is the message that I got. The number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer in service. And we're not the only ones having trouble getting in contact with them. Take bride to be Zena Patterson, who is supposed to have her reception here in July. I tried calling the phone, his personal cell phone number, the website that's put down. I can't get a hold of anybody. Now, we went back to McMenemies this afternoon. There were people there, but no one would comment. Elizabeth has received her deposit back, while Zaina says she's still trying to get a hold of someone so she can get hers, too. Live in the studio, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.